Hi folks, Derek Clark from the Rangers Review here now. It's been a summer of change at Ibrox with nine new additions in the door and it's fair to say that many of them are taking time to settle in. Only Leon Balligan has previous experience of knowing what it's like to play with a club with such high expectations and demands. Well, on the Rangers Review website this morning, there's a fantastic piece from Chris Jack. He's spoken to Marco Negri and Mark Hately, as well as Alex McLeish, and what it's like to settle in at Ibrox. Uh, you can check it out on the website by heading over to rangersreview.co.uk. Hately knows all too well with the summer signings what they're going through. He had made moves to Giants, AC Milan, and Monaco before he arrived at Rangers 23 years ago. And even a striker as renowned and as proven as what Haitley was, needed time to find his feet after lengthy injury issues on the continent. He told Chris, it's the same wherever you go. You've always got the newness of everything that is happening around you. Not every club is the same, especially when you're going from country to country, which I did going from England to Italy, Italy to Monaco and Monaco to Scotland. The player goes first and the family normally follows. And with all that, you have then got living in a hotel and trying to sort a house. You're never settled until you've got your family with you. And that is all part and parcel of the procedure that you have to go through. Some people settle quicker than others, he said. That is just the way it is. Some feel that until they've got their family around them, then they can relax. Some people can see right past that and just concentrate on what they're doing in front of them for the next minute and then the next minute and then the next minute. That doesn't worry them. It's all down to the individual. And as we have always said, you need to be a special individual to cope with playing at Rangers. We have seen some great players come and fail. It's all down to the individual circumstances and how quickly you settle, especially for strikers. Well, one striker who settled quickly was Marco Negri. He was brought to the club in the summer of 1997 as part of a Walter Smith-led rebuild as the club embarked on a push towards 10 in a row. They would come up short, of course, despite a blistering start to the season from Negri when he rattled in 23 goals in his opening 10 games. And while Haley took time to settle, Negri didn't. And he credits Walter as being a key factor in that. The secret was Walter Smith. He told the Rangers Review... He was the best man-to-man -man manager I ever had. He was a coach. He was a big brother. He was a father. That was a secret about settling in at Rangers. The season before I signed for Rangers, I was playing in Serie A, which at the time was the best league in the world. I knew that if I could score in Serie A, then I could score in other leagues. And that confidence for a striker is the best thing. Changing league, changing training sessions, changing city is not easy. I suggest that you must be ready for a big, big club like Rangers. If you play in front of 50,000 people, Ibrox can be so beautiful and so amazing, but it can also be a nightmare. You must be prepared as a footballer but also with a big personality. I was a striker, so when you are a striker, the best way to introduce yourself is scoring goals. If you score, everyone is clapping you and knows you in the right way. Well, in the summer of 2004, Alex McLeish oversaw a major rebuild at Ibrox. The club had just come off the back of a very disappointing season, but the squad he built would go on to win the league title in one of the most dramatic final days in world football. He said, we looked back on that previous season and said we had to absolutely 100% get the recruitment right. I went over to see Dado Perso playing for Monaco against Real Madrid in the Champions League. He was terrific. I thought there was an absolute no-brainer. And I phoned David Murray. He was a free transfer and I knew we had to sign him. That's what we did. I wanted to see players my, with my own eyes. I knew who Dado Perso was and was aware of the European market, the South American market, but I also wanted to see with my own eyes. We heard through the grapevine that Dado would love to play for Rangers. Now, of course, a host of other players would arrive at Ibrox with more added in January as Rangers wrestled back the league title. And McLeish says his secret to the team bonding was man management. That was the case when I joined Rangers and we had some wonderful times like the treble season and that helicopter Sunday season. I had the energy to bring those teams together and uh, he said people said it wasn't a great Rangers squad in 2004, 2005. 
and we were getting criticism. Marvin Andrews was prancing about the dressing room the last four or five weeks saying believe and getting the players laughing and up for it. I knew what we had in terms of quality, but I knew what we had mentality as well. The treble team had world-class players in there and Martin O'Neill felt uh, that the Celtic team was the best after the Lisbon Lions. It was quite a feat for us to beat them and it came down to getting the right players in that summer. If you look at Michael Beale now, he needs more to come from his signings this summer. The big question, of course, is can he get more from his summer additions? Well, he quite simply has to if he is to stay in the Ibrox hot seat, you feel. Did you like that article? You can go and check it out on the Rangers Review site and the link is in the description below. If you want to keep up to date with all the latest news coming out of Ibrox, be sure to subscribe to the Rangers Review YouTube channel. Bye for now.